All right, I got an eight-month sentence of DOC correction of Maryland right up here, BPRU, uh -huh. and and I'm from West Virginia. And when I got released, they said I couldn't leave till April the eighth to uh, discharge my sentence. They gave me some addresses to go to these homeless shelters. I'm not from here. I have no money, no job, nowhere to live, and they won't let me leave the state of Maryland to go back to. My home, my home, my family, and every, everywhere. Uh -huh. And I'm out, stuck on the streets, and I'm stuck down here like this with everybody else. I mean, it's, it's crazy. It is. It's not right. Because, like, if you were home right now, you could be spending time with your family, taking yep. care of them. You could be working. You could be bringing in money. Yep. And you could just, you know, be taking care of business there. Right. Exactly. But you can't do that. Right. Yeah. I mean, down here you're starting over. I mean, you don't, I don't know where the jobs are at, or the day laborers, or I'm trying to get clothes and things. My sister's sending me some clothes. I uh, should be getting it any day in the mail uh, whenever it gets here, but hopefully it's, you know, that'll help me out better. And she sends me a couple of dollars here and there. That's how I get cigarettes. In yeah. But they can only do so much, and I can't keep asking. Yeah. And, uh, but. Maryland, when they release you from prison, if you're not from that state, you got to stay here. They, you, they, you can't go back. Because me, I'm so short, they don't want to do the paperwork. Well, you said uh, well, your uh, probation is four months? Yeah. And it would take 90 days to get the paperwork through? Yeah. That's 100. Well, four months is 120 days. But since the paperwork is that close, it's the, my pro officer, she doesn't, or her supervisor doesn't want to do all the paperwork because it's got to go to another state. Yeah. Interstate compacts, what they call it. But I mean, even if it were to take 90 days for that whole process, that would still get you home a month sooner, a month back to your family. Right. Exactly. That's still a month of your life. I mean, exactly. So even if it would take 90 days, they should still do it. Exactly. And even then, it shouldn't take 90 days. There's got to be some way for situations like yours where they can expedite it yep. and get you home. Because I mean, otherwise. You know, if they just kick you out here, like you said, you end up taking up a bed that someone from here could really use. Right, right. Yeah. A lot, a lot of these guys are in ten times worse than I am. I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm worse. I mean, I'm bad, but I see, look around, there's a lot of other guys could use it a lot more than I could. Yeah. If they let me go. Yeah. And, and like, when it's real cold, when you leave the shelter in the morning at 7 o'clock, there's nowhere to go. You gotta stay outside all day unless you get, go to the temp service. And that's what I'm working on right now. Mm -hmm. And you go and you work and then you go back to the shelter at four. You get to go in, in inside. But other than that, you don't have nowhere to go. That's why you see these people walking around. They gotta carry their bags, nowhere to put nothing. Yeah. If people take it. You go in these businesses and they tell you leave. If you go in McDonald's, you can't do that. They just and if you get told a couple times, you're gonna get locked up. Right now. Yeah. So it's really bad out here. There's nowhere for none of these guys to go. Yeah. Most of them are pretty old and they can't work. Yeah. Yeah, you you're still a young, strong dude. I mean, I, I'm trying, um, but. I'm going to, uh, like I said, go to these day labors, and that's, that's all I can do right now until I find something permanent. So, having been through what you've been through, what what's something that Baltimore City should be doing to make this process better, the state of Maryland, this country? To have some kind of day room for them. Because in, in for rains, they're out there stuck in the rain. You've got go, you to stand under places like that, where, you know, so you stay dry. Stay dry. It's got to keep moving all day. It's, it's, it's rough. Cool. Anything else? That's it. All right. Thanks, brother.